Farms in the family about 225 years. Um, we're one of the few nationally registered farms where it's father to son for generation after generation. So we were looking for a reason to purchase it and looked at a lot of different ideas. And after quite a bit of searching and some wine from Hawaii, we decided to purchase it and start a vineyard. Signature, it's probably going to have to be a tie for two. The Gruner Vetliner, the Austrian White, and then Riesling. So both of those we produce as dry and half dry or a little bit sweet. Um, they're aromatic, they kind of work very well for our little microclimate here. Um, and they're a nice way to taste a European style wine here in Pennsylvania. Our most famous events are the tours. We offer two kinds of tours. We do tractor and wagon and those are fun, but my favorite are the walking tours. Just, they're both the same tour, it's just with the walking tour, much more intimate, you can touch, see. We start here at the taste room, we travel through the vineyard, get off at the wine cellar, get to look, ask, see, whatever you want to know about vineyards, wineries, we try and answer. Our first harvest was in 1997 and we produced some wine in 1998, but typically in our new plantings now we don't consider the fruit of commercial premium quality until it's at least five years old in some sections of our vineyard, perhaps seven. So the first couple years, vines produce at two to three years, those are not the premium quality fruit that we'd be looking to put in to one of our stone cellar wines. True ice wines are picked at 17 degrees or below. We like to pick around 10 or 12. Typically we pick at night, um, about 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning because the fruit has to stay cold. Once daylight hits, the, those temperatures in the fruit are going to start to warm up and we also want to process cold. Having a family farm, it's really important to get the next generation considering joining you as um, the only way to continue this. So we have three children, one of whom has the degrees in enology and viticulture and is pursuing her master's. Um, but if she isn't interested, perhaps one of her brothers, because the best part about a family farm is turning it to the next generation. Mm -hmm.